Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is J. Maria, J. Marie Booklist, and today I'm making a video about screening calls and visitors for patients. So there will be times where this this is like, well, this is an everyday thing because you have to screen the calls for the patients. That's one of the things you have to do. So let's say you have a patient who is there and um, you get a phone call and it's you know, a relative that live in New York. That is like the common thing I hear, you know, I'm down here in South Florida and we have patients who have family who live in New York or friends or daughters and things like that who are in New York or Massachusetts. But anyway, and they call and say, I want to know how my mom is doing, my friend is doing, so-and-so is doing. We don't tell them that because it's HIPAA like how, how do we know who you are you say you're the daughter we don't know that um so in those cases if the patient is alert and orientated so they know where they are and who they are and everything then we will transfer the calls into the room um if the patient has family that's in the room we can transfer the calls into the room you know say you know um let me transfer the call to the room they have family in the room that's that's really pretty much all you have to say or if they want to know how the patient is doing just tr you can transfer the call into the room now sometimes they will not want to be transferred into the room and in that case you would say well just a moment let me speak have you speak to the nurse or if the nurse is busy you know the charge nurse and the reason why they would object to being transferred to the patient is because there's some issues going on, like family dynamics going on that has nothing to do with us. It's them. And they don't want to talk to the patient or they don't want to talk to the other family members who are in the room, but they do want to know what's going on with the patient. Also, it could be where they just tried to talk to the patient so they called the patient on their cell phone or they called the family member on the phone and the family member would not give any information so let's say you have the family member in the room with the patient and then the person that you're speaking with just got off the phone with them and they wouldn't give any information or they just got off the phone with the patient and the patient wouldn't give any information so now they're calling the desk to try to get information so in any of those instances you you do not give out any information because it's HIPAA you don't know who they are but also understand that it, there can be family dynamics going on that have nothing to do with us and we're not going to get involved with it okay and the same thing with visitors you know you have visitors who will come and the first thing they do is stop at the desk and wonder how so-and-so is doing if like I said if the patient is alert and orientated you know just let them know the patient is alert and orientated. Um, but if you want, you know, I can send a nurse into the room, to, you know, to to talk to you. Because, I mean, why would you, I don't know. Some people, are, they do that. They stop at the nursing station instead of going into the room. So, like, when my mom, my mom was in the hospital, I didn't stop at the nurse station to ask no questions. I went in the room. <laughs> like, that's just, my mom is orientated. And even when she wasn't, I still went in the room. You know, I don't even think I even spoke to the nurses. I just went into the room, you know, because it takes her a while to come out off medication, like when she, you know, anesthesia and things like that. But I'm still going in there. You know, I'm not stopping asking any questions. I just, that's just not something I would do. Now, if it was an issue, and then I would speak. I don't, I don't think I even really spoke to the nurses when my mom, you know, was having her procedures done. It just was never really an issue. But like I said, sometimes they'll stop at the desk, want to know how the patient is doing. You just, if the patient is alert, orientated, you just, you know, the patient, um, you know, I, you know, I'm, you can, well, one thing you can say is I'm not sure, but I'll send the nurse into the room. And usually that's a way for them to get away from your desk. <laughs> okay. Like move. <laughs> uh, because you're not sure. You don't know. You're the secretary. I mean, you may know. But, you know, you may not know. I, I'll send in, you know, I'm not sure, but I'll send a nurse into the room to talk to you. But, you know, once they go into the room, they talk to the patient, especially if they're orientated. Now, if they're not, then, yes, the nurse going into the room, they can ask questions. Same thing with family and visitors in there. But nine times out of ten, 
when they call and they're trying to get information is because they had they have already spoken to the patient and or spoken to whoever's in the room and it's some kind of issue going on and that's something that we don't want no parts of and we're not gonna get into that okay so don't even get into that like i said just even and, and you ain't supposed to be telling nothing anyway because you don't know nothing okay you don't know nothing even though we know everything but we don't know we don't know nothing okay so that's all i got for you and i'll talk to you later bye